recreate your life such that it becomes a recreation in itself. You have a mind, the creative space with which you can think, feel, ideate, imagine, visualize, plan, design. You have a body which is a super smart device through which you can express what's on your mind through words, actions, behaviors. The body helps you experience what's going on around you and it feeds back everything to your mind. And you have this powerful brain that coordinates, collaborates between the mind and the body and you. And it makes it seem all seamless. What you put in your mind is a program that fires the brain and converts uh, them into actions, behaviors that translate to tangible outcomes. Therefore, what you put in your mind space is really important and key to building your life. You are the leader, the commander who is the power of choice. What and how you wish to express yourself, how to respond to stimuli, what you wish to experience in life. With these three powerful gifts, the body, mind and brain, you can architect your life. You have the power to co-create the life you want. You have the power to reinvent yourself every day and become the person you want to be. Cultivating a growth mindset helps you chip away the inessentials and focus on the essentials. Just like Jake, what J.K. Rawlings shares in her video. It helps you use your imagination to design a future that you want and build it step by step. It's a process and a journey. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey. It's a game of life. Play the game well. What I'm going to share with you now is a simple four-hour framework to help you recreate your life as you play the game of life. The first R is recharge your mind and body. When we encounter an obstacle in the form of a problem or a setback, a challenge, a failure, a rejection, what happens? Our energy takes a dip. When energy goes down, our mind and body do not function at their best. We are not at our best and we all know that. We worry, we overthink, we feel anxious, we uh, panic, we agonize, we get tensed up. We will analyze a problem and this may just spiral out of control at times. It affects our ability to think rationally and work productively to come up with effective solutions. So the first thing when you encounter a challenge or face a problem or you come across an obstacle is to take that step back and recharge yourself. So what is your go-to recharger? All of us are different and we have different ways to recharge themselves. Recharging yourself will help you experience a shift in your energy and you'll come from a better place from where you can tackle the problem that you're facing effectively. My go-to recharge is what is meditation. It really calms my mind and I see the big picture. As they say, a problem is only as big as the mind space you give it. So meditation actually helps me see the problem as what it is, not the monstrous thing that I have built in my mind about it. And that is the first thing that needs to happen before we really go and try to solve the problem. The second R is resource your potential. Now, when we face an obstacle, there are times and most often this happens most often when the best of us are so caught up in the problem in front of us that we have forgotten uh, what we are, what we have, all that we have achieved and accomplished in life so far. Self-doubt creeps up. The problem looks this big and like a monster. There's inner chatter, negative inner chatter this confusion and conflict as a result and very less clarity, right? So after you have recharged your mind and cleared up your mind, 
The second thing to do is to remember that to become who you have become today, who you are today, you have gone through ups and downs, struggles and triumphs, failures and successes. Through all this, you have had your core values to guide you. You have built strengths, abilities, skills, habits. You have cultivated your gifts and talents. You have garnered many a life lesson and insights and you have created valuable connections in your life. You have your own list of successes and achievements. All this forms your personal capital that you have built in life so far. Something that belongs to you and is your very own. To invest in the present to create the future you wish to live. And there's so much potential inside of you yet to be tapped and expressed. Remembering all that you have achieved so far gives a huge boost to your morale, to your motivation, and it can be very inspiring. So once you've done the first two hours, recharge and resource, it's time to review and reframe your perspective. So what shift in mindset is required? Fix to growth, lack to abundance, negative to positive. What words and beliefs may I, may I use that are more aligned with the future that I wish to create and live? What change in intentions is required? What expectations do I hold that I need that need to be revisited? What possibilities and choices can I explore? What behaviors and habits need an upgrade? What's the benefit impact on me and others who are close to me, short term and long term? What resources, internal and external, may I use to take the immediate next tiny step or action reviewing what all that you have done so far and what changes need to be made helps you reframe your strategy the fourth thought is refocus to take inspired action now that you have recharged yourself resourced your potential and you have reviewed and reframed your strategy strategy it's time to take inspired action action that comes from an abundance and growth mindset, action inspired through powerful habits and rituals, action that leverages the power of continuous improvements, tiny steps and tiny gains compounding to create massive results over time, action, inspired action, just go do it. So this is a four hour framework to recreate your life so that it becomes a recreation in itself.